house fire gets four people up out of bed and ends up taking two beds from members within this community. Witnesses didn't see or smell the 4 a.m. house fire on the corner of Jirock Street and Grand Avenue, but they all heard the boom at 4.30. Uh, I woke up to an explosion. I sat up and my window happens to be that one right there. Mm -hmm. And all I saw was a big orange ball of flames coming towards my window. It was close enough you could have lit a cigarette out my window. The explosion was an oxygen tank that belonged to the neighbor who had previous health concerns before checking into the hospital days ago. According to fire officials, he is currently still at the hospital. Fire officials say they narrowed the starting place to the living room. The oxygen tank was near the kitchen. The fire destroyed everything it touched and the wind helped it reach. The fire was so hot it melted the it wires. It melted the wires. Including the neighborhood's electrical wires and the styrofoam insulation on the house next door. The fire also melted a dream that turned into a reoccurring nightmare for this minister. I put money on this house because my other house on Maffin and Delanor, I was working on that house to see about doing a program for my community, but that house burned down last week on the 9th. And so now I'm out of two houses when still I don't have a house to stay in. She says her dream to build a refugee center in the community where she would also stay is deferred, not destroyed. Well, the house is gone, but my faith is not gone. So then therefore God got a plan. Something somewhere is going to happen for me. So I'm not downtrodden. To find out more about what happened with the property with both people involved, please go to 13onyourside.com. In Muskegon Heights, I'm Leona Dunn.